good morning. Nice sunny day. I'm at the Lake District Wildlife Park in Cumbria. I thought it was going to be raining here, but it wasn't. It didn't. Came through a lot of rain. All the way from Ingleton, if you know where it is. that are the bosses of the group. Um, in here we have Eliza, and then we have three males. Uh, but they do seem quite equal in, he equal in here, uh, compared to our other group. In the other group we have Caesar, and she is definitely a boss. <laughs> in here they're a bit more like, ah, it's fine. Yeah. Everybody can have some food. <laughs> And so in the wild, the uh, boss of the group, the female, would be the only one to get babies. And then the rest of the group will just help uh, watching out for cats and uh, gathering food and stuff. Are they completely different to mongooses? They just completely uh, no, different? No, it's the same family. Is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yeah, they can get up to 18 babies a year. Oh, wow. So, uh, oh. Three times uh, six, ba six babies. And then every now and then they just split as a group. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So uh, there's no inbreeding. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Mia cats do very well for themselves. They're not endangered in any kind of way. No. Uh, but they are quite advanced in the different uh, warning sounds, and yeah. they eat everything, and and they produce a fine amount of babies. Okay. Uh, so they do very well. Yeah. So they, they don't lose that. They're still looking out for the predators. Yes. They, are still they, they will keep doing that. Yeah. Uh, our meerkats are a bit lazy when there's food around yeah. uh, because normally one or two would be on the lookout while eating and then they would switch around but right. they just all eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were in the box. Yes. And then when they're Chances. done eating it's like, oh, oops, some of us should be on the lookout. <laughs> yeah. Where are they in the wild? Is it um, like in Africa? Yeah, southern of Africa, Maybe. yeah. Uh, so, not fully desert, but, but very warm areas, yeah. yeah. So how do they like the cold weather? Uh, it's quite alright for them, because in during the nights, it can actually get very cold in uh, big parts of Africa. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. They do get minus degrees. Uh, yeah. yeah. So they do alright, but if they find it a bit chilly, mostly on rainy days, they will go inside. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's nice and warm in there. <laughs> I got a lot of hay as well yeah. <laughs> to lay in. Do you have any like the bird of prey just circling around here that will come down? No. No, I, I, not in my time. No. I, I haven't uh, experienced it. But they don't like the helicopters. Right. They, they will run inside when the helicopters yeah. come by. Yeah. Did the one that escaped? Did you catch that one again? Yes. Or did that one it's just? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> we <We've> reintroduced it. <laughs> <that one. laughs> yeah. No, they are very food motivated. Okay, so, so you just the, yeah, they're fairly easy to, yeah. to get a hold of them and yeah. entice back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love eating. Yeah. We'll see you later on the park. <laughs> they are. Yeah. Do I have any more questions about the makeup? Thank you for listening. <laughs> the next talk is Bird Prey at 12 o'clock. Amazing. Jeffrey's marmoset. Oh, there's a moon goose. Ah. Huh. You're all right. Look all the teeth on you. Come on. Sorry about the lighting flickering. I made stuck by them. Just there. Not where you can see it. You can read that yourself. Eastern box turtle. And the marmots are taken, but they're outside. And nobody's home. Oh god, that's sharp. Wow. Nice. These caracara. Caracaras are nice birds. Got a nice yellow head. Oh, they are nice. Oh, super bloody fence again. Uh, excuse me. <coughs> yeah, doing some work on here. 
Not. Hopefully you can read that, maybe. I don't know. Mm. Your own closure, I think. Looks like it. Sorry, I haven't filmed much. I think I'll go back to the car park, have my lunch, and then drive to Ashness Bridge. See the moon up there. Straight forward. I did see the bird of prey show, but <laughs> they've got a harrier missing. One of a main heart can not harrier. Eventually, she said, <laughs> I won't be offended if you all leave. <laughs> Alas. <laughs> she sounds to be a good talk as well. Ashton's Bridge. Right. Sorry for the lack of speaking. That was next to a waterfall and you probably can't hear me anywhere. Oh, there's too many people around. Taking a bunch of HDR photos. And a few normal ones. I use my um, wide-angle lens for a change. Oh, I went down the wrong way. Tell you what I need, a polarizer. Yeah, this is alright. Nice. Okay. I'm at RSBB Leighton Moss. I'm just going to climb this tower. And climb all the stairs to the tower.
Oh, I've taken, he's just been to a hide. Now I'm going to another one. About a 10 minute walk from here, I think. I haven't seen any tits yet, um, bearded tits. Been told that otters are that way, further up. Fires it. 217 meters. I can get some mate, nice abstract photos here. You can get some nice abstract photos here with the trees in the water, reflections. Found out that I need a um, extender, and I couldn't lock onto the marsh area. I don't, don't know why. If you have any advice, please let me know. Thank you. Pay a bit somewhere. That's a bar. Lapwing. I wonder who puts food out on here. Alright, on to the next hide. Onwards to the Causeway hide. But this is bad when it's wet. Slippery. Oh, nice. Nice berry. Now, I've been told that uh, the otters should be up, up here. It's usually usually more active during dawn and dusk, which I knew about it in a way from watching them in Scotland. They like to feed in the eel. Wish I never brought this dry bug with me. I'm sick of carrying it now. Oh, we get some more. Oh, six on six watt. No, six on the map. No, um, Finally made it to the lower hide. Oh, 
low high done. Now I'm off um, a bit further down. I'm going to see if, it, see if I can find any other sets and whatever else is there. Miles back to the car park now. 